Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Sujay Dutta. I'm an infectious disease specialist in Thousand Oaks, California. I'm uh, happy to be part of the team here at Western Fertility. I specialize in infectious diseases and HIV medicine, and I assist in interviewing patients, and examination and preparation for our sperm washing protocol that we have for use in uh, reproductive uh, technology. So unfortunately, there has been a great deal of stigma attached to uh, people who are HIV infected. I want to reassure uh, all of our clients that we treat all our clients with the utmost respect. Our HIV positive patients have a medical condition, like any chronic medical condition, it's just completely treatable and uh, are expected to live uh, normal, healthy lives to a normal lifespan. And in the context of that, should also be able to have children in a very safe fashion, despite the fact they have chronic HIV infection. I'm here to answer any questions you may have and the most common questions regarding uh, sperm washing, how safe it is, and uh, why we do it. HIV sperm washing is a technology that was developed in Milan, Italy uh, over 10 years ago. It's a way to allow uh, patients that are HIV positive with controlled uh, undetectable viral load uh, to safely have uh, children and it involves uh, taking samples of their semen, washing them, and so that if there is any HIV present, it will be removed and will be safe to use for in vitro fertilization and other reproductive technologies so that they can have uh, children. So the cost associated with the sperm washing is about $9,000. Uh, that involves uh, washing the sperm, processing it, and counting to assure that it's potent and it's ready for use in a successful uh, in vitro fertilization process. So the washing makes the process as safe as humanly possible for surrogate mothers to uh, carry their babies to full term. So I want to reassure uh, the surrogate mothers that this is a very safe procedure. Since sperm washing was started over uh, 10 years ago, there has not been a single case of uh, HIV positive baby being born. So their risk is uh, very, very low, as low as humanly possible for the mother who's carrying the baby to term. So the risk is extremely low. We can never say zero because in, in uh, science, we always have to use the best technology we have, but this is as safe as humanly possible. So it's considered an extremely safe procedure uh, for uh, everyone involved, especially the uh, surrogate mother who will be raising the child uh, uh, in, in utero up to the point of birth. So we obtain uh, three samples and we use the one with the highest sperm count for the actual uh, process. We want to assure that we have the highest sperm count. So we uh, have three samples provided for each client. So what you have, have, have you abstained from uh, intercourse for seven days prior to uh, donation of sperms. So our process is quite extensive. Prior to the interview, we obtain uh, all the pertinent medical history, including when HIV was first diagnosed in our clients. And we assure that the, our clients are taking their antiretroviral medications because this assures us that their uh, semen will be safe even prior to our washing procedure. And on top of that, I spend uh, up to an hour with each of our clients doing a thorough uh, history and physical examination and review of their uh, labs that they've had prior to the interview. And after the interview, we have a review of labs that they have done, drawn very recently within a couple of days of uh, their uh, donating uh, sperm samples. So this assures us that we're getting very up-to-date and uh, informative labs which will make the procedure as safe as possible. So we, we obtain really uh, extensive blood work, including a complete blood count, a complete metabolic panel that tells us about your kidney function, liver function, your blood tests that tell us if you're anemic or not. And we also determine your uh, CD4 count uh, to tell us how your immune system is and a viral load to, to make sure that your viral is undetectable. We use a cutoff of less than 20 and we will not allow any uh, donations of uh, 
samples from patients who do not have a viral load less than 20 because that would not be safe. So we use the every precaution possible in our blood testing prior to donation of the samples to assure that it is as safe as possible.